how to find the prime factorization of a number. So remember, factors, factorization means a string of factors, and prime factorization means a string of prime factors. So this is an example of how to find the prime factorization of the number 36. So we write down the number 36, and we think, what are some factors that would make 36? Let's try 9 and 4. I'm going to do it over here, but with different factors, 3 and 12. So in class, I said it's like taking a sledgehammer and continually hitting the numbers until they're all prime. So let's sledge the 9, and the 9 is 3 times 3. I said circle the prime numbers so you know you're done. The 4 is 2 times 2. They're all prime. So our string is 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. And then writing it with exponents, we would write 2 to the second power times 3 to the second power. That is the prime factorization of 36. Well, what if someone in class said, well, I did 3 and 12. So if they did 3 and 12, 3 and 12, the first thing they would do is say, oh, 3 is prime. I'm going to circle it. Let's break down the 12. 3 times 4. 3 is done. Let's break down the 4. We break down the numbers, so we make the numbers into primes. So we're ending up with 2 and 2. And let's see if our string's the same. It would be 2 times 2 times 2. Oops. 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. And then with exponents, that's 2 to the second power times 3 to the second power. So it doesn't matter how you go about turning the numbers into primes. You will only ever have one prime factorization for a number.